What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Triple B Gaming News Channel. If you want to hear the other side of the news, subscribe and turn on notifications. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how Rara has now got absolutely nobody to cause drama with because everyone just keeps ignoring him. So, let's crack on with the news. Recently, Rara decided to put out a tweet and it was aimed at Call of Shame. He says, Yo, I don't give a F how much you think people are cheating. It's an effing video game. Leave their preferences out of the story. It's unnecessary and seriously sickening. How is this spineless rat allowed to have a YouTube channel? Does this not break terms of service, mudslinging and hate content? And they've actually attached an image of a message that Call of Shame put out on their community section over on YouTube. Which I don't really think they stepped over the line. Yes, they did put in about Nadia's preference, about her being the lesbian lover of HMA, but there was no toxicity behind that. Absolutely none. It was just stating something that they believed to be true. However, leaving that out wouldn't have actually made a difference as putting it in. So maybe in future Call of Shame might actually leave something like that out. But... In true Rara fashion, he's used this to try and generate some sort of hate campaign against Call of Shame. Now, we've seen it with other content creators on YouTube who are just hate content creators, and they will literally be sexist, they will be homophobic, racist, everything you can think of, and th these people don't deserve a platform, but Call of Shame has never really shown any signs of these things. All they have done is state within this message they've put out that it is her lesbian lover of notorious cheater HMA. Nothing wrong with stating that, if it is in fact true. But what you have now is Rara trying to start the hate campaign, and guess what? It didn't really do well for him. He didn't really even reach 50 reactions on his Twitter post. So maybe that's why now he sort of decided to step away from the content side of things because the drama just isn't selling anymore. We've already seen his loyal fans, his loyal followers, who like him for him. There's not many of them, but the ones who do, they actually keep saying to him in the comment sections of his videos, videos as well as in his tweet comments you leave the drama alone just step away from it and concentrate on yourself and this is what his own followers are saying now there are a big bunch of people who followed him because of the drama they wanted to follow everything that was going on between him with the back and forth with Happer, with me with call of shame with everybody else who rara picked a fight with essentially what he's done now he's put himself in a position where he picked a fight with every single other person who classes themselves in the hacker hunter scene and lost every single one of those fights now he looks like a clown and now he's put this post out on youtube and the post reads this i just want to let everyone know i've been struggling to find the energy to make videos i don't know what's wrong with me every time i sit down and start to record or edit i can't find myself doing the damn thing i don't know if it's my lack of passion or the fact that warzone isn't fun for me anymore but this is the hardest it's been for me do you guys care if I start doing less editing with more of these videos and just explain them in a sit down style video for the future? I'll continue to hunt hackers and debunk false accusations, but it's felt close to impossible to even care when the game is dying in front of my eyes, otherwise edits might take longer. If you guys ever have questions, feel free to ask whenever on stream over on the Twitch. I just have had a tough time. I know we are all struggling with the current recession, so if you guys need a play to just relax, my stream will always be free. Unless, you know, you want to be a paying sub, of course, but rather than putting this out, it's a recurring pattern. He goes through a stage of pumping out a certain type of content, and then he has like writer's block, but for content creators, so content creator block, and then he'll rework what he's doing, he'll delete all footage off his channel and then go down a new path so hopefully this is the start of something for rara where he can you know sit back rethink what he wants to do and go into youtube on a different path because being a hacker hunter hasn't really worked out for him all he's done is cause himself problems cause drama within the scene he's tried to debunk everything possible he can and come out looking like an idiot you know he defended streamers who wound up getting perma banned for cheating although he's admitted his wrongs and said that he made a mistake i mean it is what it is and rara put himself in this position so let's see where he goes in the future with his content and let's see how long he actually sticks around this hacker hunter scene for i don't think it's working out for him though what do you guys think 
let me know in the comments below. If we do find out any more about Rara's future on YouTube or whether or not he goes into full breakdown, we'll let you know here on the Triple B Gaming News channel. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on. Triple B, over and out.